What is happening, y'all? <clears throat> Had my barbecue. Feeling good. And we're ready to check this out. Uh, so this is a new Metroidvania. I've not played it so far. I wasn't sure if I was even going to play it. Uh, just because it looks kind of crazy. Um, like, almost bullet hell ish but... We'll try it out on stream. At the very least, kind of bring y'all a look at the game so that you can decide whether or not it's something that you would enjoy. And if I'm really enjoying it, maybe we'll play it again. I got my hoodie. Time is the canvas, and my hand is the brush. In the beginning, only chaos existed flooding all existence with his presence. In his magnificence, he created space-time and populated the vast void with infinite universes. Upon contemplating his creation, he named it Aeterna. Innumerable beings were conceived, and proud of his work, he liberated them blessing them with free will. The passage of time corrupted his utopia. The beings he had created were hungry for power and began to destroy their own existence. As a result, two main factions were formed, light and darkness, and they went to war against each other, eager to win power over Aiderna. Although it belonged to neither. Outraged, Chaos cursed the leaders with immortality, obliging them to fight for eternity in the hope of maintaining the equilibrium that both were anxious to destroy. Cursed, the Queen of Light and the King of Darkness would fight to the death for the throne of Aeterna and to restore equilibrium. The defeated monarch would come back to life, condemned to fight once more for victory and recover the power lost in battle. Chaos was pleased with himself, since he had achieved the alternate reign of light and darkness, thereby establishing a perfect equilibrium until the end of time, until eternity no longer existed until the end of all existence. Life after life. We're playing on peace. Life after life. The endless cycle of night and day. No more pets? It's like a bad anime so far. <laughs> so I guess I play as the King of Darkness. Um, I have no idea what language that is. I guess it's just a gibberish language. God damn, game's kind of loud. Hang on.
Pisado es tu cume, Gadian. Usa My name is, is Fighting Cowboy. You can just call me Cowboy. Alan Wake episode 2 will be tomorrow. We're doing uh, one per day for the weekdays. I think this is PC only right now. played Naraka Blade Point? I think so? I either played Naraka or I played something that was just like it. It wasn't really for me. Split. He said, hold B? Jump, attack, dash, aim. Drink potion, D-pad up. What? This game is punishing. Do you know anything about ill? Or is that just a ruse? I've never even heard of that. I think these are like checkpoints. <laughs> Yo, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm getting Castlevania vibes. Especially like the way I need to... How I need to like hit stuff and then like kind of back off. Let's see if this works. No, nope, it didn't work. That never works. <clears throat> ah. I was like, not a fan of having to like run everywhere to collect the shit. Rain World? I don't know what that is. Wait, didn't they? Didn't he just say I could <clears throat> use my XP or something while I'm sitting down? Service a link finally. Oh, okay, I gotta hit that. I'm just pressing the wrong button. This is my skill tree, and then I have gems, and then a collection. Alright, let's just go, uh, start improving all your magic, blood, and darkness skills. Melee increased, increased critical strike chance, increased critical damage. Reduce the cooldown of dash. Attract dogmas. We need to get that first. I need the, the attraction thing. I get to that thing above me though? Not sure if you just respawn at a checkpoint or not. I don't know. But this feels like a hidden path thing, so let's do this first. Uh, maybe I can't. I think I need double jump. Come on, bro, grab it! I'm like halfway above the ledge. Do you recommend a Series S? I <clears throat> can't find an X. Uh, do you have like a 4K TV? Oh, hang on a second. Keep this shit at 60. Like, unless you have a TV that's like 
4K. Uh, there's really no reason for a Series X over an S. If we have a 4K TV, though, then yeah, you might as well just wait to get an X. Dude, the instant kill spikes and blasphemous, those were infuriating. Why is my guy like rocking back and forth? Getting banned already. Oh. Oh man. It's like the guy wants to get banned even though the stream just started. I'll just have one person read a few lines of paragraph. I mean, you gotta realize, getting <clears throat> voice acting isn't cheap, and... Oh god, no! You're like, you know, you need to find somebody <clears throat> that actually is, like, good at it. You can't just, you know... Oh, let, let Joe Smoke's just gonna add the voice lines to the game, because then if it sounds like shit, everybody's upset. I mean... Think about, um... Think about uh, uh, Biomutant. Remember Biomutant and having to listen to that fucking narrator drone on and on and on and on and on? Speak in some gibberish language. Nadaki Usataro, Gadian. 
We leave. Guess I gotta actually do the do the thing to leave. It's just like old school gaming. We need a luxury of speech back in the day. Love to walk around in Hollow Knight. I mean, I like Hollow Knight's approach more than. Uh, <clears throat> More than this, where it's just like a, a uh, fake language. What's this? What'd you do? Um. Spanish game studio, so I guess it's Spanish. It sounds more Italian to me. take on this compared to Watcher Chronicles. <clears throat> um, this definitely seems like it has, it had more time spent on it. But so far, neither game has stood out to me. I think the thing is, there's been so many, like, just stellar Metroidvania titles lately that the game really, really needs to blow it out of the water in the genre to get noticed. Like, look at Ender Lilies, for example. That came out of nowhere, but was just fucking crazy. The game was so much fun. And the customization of, like, changing up your moves and whatnot. Just a really solid concept. And then you have Metroid Dread, of course, you know. Metroid. Even some other, there was some other ones, uh... Was that one where it was like Waifu Bloodborne? You basically played as some chick. But a bunch of crazy abilities and you could build up shit. Like, I don't know, there's just, there's a lot of really good Metroidvanias lately, so... If something doesn't, like, absolutely knock it out of the park... It's just not memorable to me. thing in the background that's kind of cool nah man I have no interest in going back to blasphemous blasphemous was cool when I played it but like it just made me rage so much I just don't I don't I don't have any desire to rage like that again 
Oh yeah, Bloodstain was great. Bloodstain was basically just a modern Castlevania. How do you feel about the Dying Light 2 devs saying you'll need a minimum of 500 hours of gameplay to beat it? They didn't say that though. They said you would need 500 hours to 100% the game. There's a big difference between 100%ing a game and beating a game. You can beat Skyrim in like six hours. If you want 100% Skyrim, it's easily over 500. This is better than Hollow Knight? No. <clears throat> I don't know who told you that, but this game is not... No. Ever beat Returnal? Yeah, beat it on stream. Return, I'll let you uh, save mid run now. Kiranako, <laughs> ネカイサイドジンドカトネイダステカイタンダタオオナコリテイサタウネマディケイモレマケイダイマルコネマクレマシタイサタウガタロケンタネキリアスモキヨトカロメイサタウガタロケンタネキリアスモキヨトカロメ
bad, but it's not really like blowing me away. That uh, requires two. Let me find another fast travel before I leave. Wait, I'm gonna try this now that I got that key. What's an Elder Ring? I've never heard of that. ちょっと待て、ちょっと待て、ちょっと待て、ちょっと待て、ちょっと待て、ちょっと待て、ちょっと待て、ちょっと待て、ちょっと待て、ちょっと待て、ちょっと待て、ちょっと待て、ちょっ
I can get the magnet, which is desperately needed because holy shit, chasing after drops is obnoxious. fucking annoying man here's a treasure chest with a bunch of goodies now you're gonna have to go chase them as they fall off the fucking map like why why even give me the chest or make it just like a bundle like holy shit that's so upsetting why would they do that Probably an item or skill later that makes currency chase you. No, there is, but that doesn't make it better. There's an upgrade, which I, I am almost at, but I don't have. But it still begs the question, like, why? Why would you do, like, oh, here's an early chest for the player. Get him some gold so he can get upgrades and shit. By the way, it's all going to run away from you. All of that shit that you want. Yeah, fuck it. It said no. It said you're screwed. I'm going on my human experience after we cover it. Okay, so we're, we're a souls like now where we lose all of our XP when we die. Cool, cool, cool. So
What does this do? Fragment of the Soul Mirror. No! And we're dead again. I don't even have a thing to heal with. This thing is just gonna kill me, bro. Nope, and we're dead. I guess there goes my entire level worth of XP. Is that just, it's just gone for good? I don't think I have, do I have, I don't think I have iframes when I, no I don't. I don't get iframes at all. Oh, I got all of my XP back, that's weird. I thought I lost it. So it's a kind of Souls-like? Oh shit. Oh, fucking god damn it, dude. I can already tell this game's gonna piss me off, bro. the game so far I am let's just say I'm lukewarm on it at the moment now the stream shouldn't be having any frame rate issues not for a, a flash for a metroidvania I don't see <clears throat> oh no wait fuck yeah no we're dropping frames We dropping frames. Hang on a second. I think that might be the internet thing. Oh, what the fuck? <clears throat> yeah, my internet speed like took a shit. Uh, fuck. No, my internet's fine. I'm, I'm fiber's working. OBS for some reason has like plummeted and is only getting like seven megs per second. Weird. Give me a second. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna kill OBS and restart it. Like, I, I don't know why it's, it's dying like that, but it shouldn't be. But, like, I stream at 18 megs, so 18,000 KBS. Uh, for some reason, OBS was only putting out, like, three. Like, 3,000 instead of 18. 
I don't know why it did that, because the internet's fine, but, uh, it's fixed now. Weird fucking problem. Uh, alright, let's get back to this. Oh my god. Cool, 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 cool. Let's tuck and just die. Die and restart it. to that thing. Bro, the hitboxes in this game, fuck. Use your ability points whenever. Nice. fucking annoying. Allergic to annoying platforming. I don't even know how to do this. It's like I need to drop and then dash, I guess. No! Oh my god, bro. Better this game or Watcher Chronicles? Personally, I don't think neither are that good. Um, I don't know. Like it's not bad, but there's this is not this is not amazing to me. And honestly, it's kind of <laughs> just just to. Hang on, let me read this shit, man. So this is so ridiculous. Um. When they, when they sent the email, they said the email was titled 
They say it may be a game of the year of the indies. Do you want to play? Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. How are you going to call your own game? say it may be the game of the year That's what I want to, who, who, who said this is going to be game of the year? Who said that? I want to know who. At least I got the fucking coin vacuum now. Like, I feel like you need to have, like, either a, a block or a, a parry or something or iframes. Like, it's really annoying that I, like, my only way to avoid these dudes is to literally just run back and forth. That, that's not, that's not fun. I gotta go back up there to get my shit. Seventy five on Metacritic? That sounds about right. I could see this getting a seventy five. Because it's like I don't know when I when I, I, I yeah, when I think of game scores I think of grades and like a 75 is like a C. It's a solid C. It's passing, it's average. You're not getting any awards, but you know, it allows you to move on to the next class. And that's exactly what this feels like to me. Like, eh, it's okay. This is not fucking indie game of the year. That is a lie. Do I gotta go? I won't be able to leave till I find the key, so I just gotta go back and, and do this part now. Mm. Oh man, I love backtracking so much. It's my favorite, favorite thing in games like this. Check out the Steam reviews. For some, for some reason people love this game. Uh, yeah. Steam, Steam, honestly dude, Steam reviews are like such a... It's so hard to know, like, what is accurate and what isn't in Steam reviews. 
I usually don't, I don't count on Steam reviews for anything. Because you'll have people and oh my god, this is fucking annoying. You'll have people in the Steam reviews that'll have like 2,000 hours in the game and they'll be like, yeah, this game's shit, wouldn't recommend. And it's like, you played it for 2,000 fucking hours. Or it's the opposite. They'll play it for like an hour and then they'll be like, game's best ever. Game's game of the year. It's like, well, could you, you know, could you explain why it's the best ever game of the year? Well, there's a quick travel, but it's like quick travel from points. So I need to... Oh my god, bro. The lack of iframes is so fucking annoying. I don't think I'm going to be able to put up with this combat. Like, at the very least, Watcher Chronicles allows you to get iframes when you rolled. I don't have... Like, the combat is not... It's not fun. Because I don't have any frame advantage when I dash. So far, the only way to do combat is to, like, physically move your character and avoid the target on the screen. And that shit gets old real fast. I need either... I need a, a you know, a parry, a block... A dodge. I need something. If this is like OG Castlevania back in the day, yeah, just running around and avoiding shit, that's fine. It's not. This is, uh, you know, it's 2022. That's locked. <clears throat> that's locked. Uh, I guess I gotta go that way. This is the right amount of time someone should play before coming to a conclusion. I think that for you to form a decent conclusion on a game, at least to the extent, like you can decide whether or not something's worth playing for you very fast. I can already tell you that this, I'm very much leaning already towards not for me, but I'm trying to, to see if the combat opens up before I, I abandon it. But for somebody to do an actual review of the game, you gotta have more than a fucking hour in. Yeah, two, two to three hours. Because the thing is, so what you got to count on is when you're first playing something new for the first time, you know. For example, exactly how I'm playing this right now. My initial perception is already like, all right, well, there's no parry, there's no dodge, there's no block. This combat is one dimensional, it's kind of annoying. Those are my initial perceptions. But it very well may be the case that if I just go forward a little bit, that the combat opens up and there's more stuff to it. But if I just stick to my initial impression where I'm like, yep, nope, combat's bad. This part's kind of fucking annoying. Uh, then, you know, I'd never know. So the point is you want to, when you have your initial impression of a game and what you think that game is going to be, I think you need to play long enough that you can challenge your initial impression. You need to say, all right, well, you know, is it, am I just, am I biased here? Or is this game actually bad? Let me give it enough to see. Maybe the combat does open up. Maybe there's more to it that I haven't seen because I'm still early and on the surface. Oh, oh God, oh God. Get what I'm saying? Have you seen Rising of the Shield here? Of course I have. No, oh, fuck. Oh man, like this, this, right now, this is really fucking annoying. Uh, platforming. Oh, we found the magical key. No, we didn't. Wait. No, we did. Wall key. Okay. But which wall key? There's multiple. Actually, I think I just opened up the one. Yeah. So now I can go down and probably open up that one. Just 
Like, already, personally, I think, uh... The fact that we have played the game for an hour, and... We haven't gotten to a boss, that already is kind of dampening, uh... My opinion of the game. I think in, in Metroidvanias, in particular, I think you need... You know, you should introduce the basic mechanics of combat. Introduce the basics of, you know, this is how you move, this is how you attack. And you should have a boss fight within, like, the first 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, you, you should not go... You know, an hour of just exploring around and fighting boring fucking enemies without a boss fight. And I think this is our boss, hopefully. Yeah. So an hour in, we got our first boss. Let's see how the fight goes. Okay, so it's, I guess, bullet hell. I just need to jump in a... I think I just need to avoid shit. Do I just attack it while it's on the wall while avoiding shit? This is annoying. Oh, fuck. This is super fucking annoying for a first boss. Holy shit, dude. You just gotta avoid all this bullshit while trying to get in damage. God, I can't fall through the- oh my god, dude. I'll give- it's interesting how the, the boss has such a diversity of phases. That's kind of cool, you know? We've, we've seen a, a couple of different things with this boss so far. Like, the- the dodging is fucking terrible. Like, you absolutely need fucking iframes in this game. It's honestly, like... It's- I don't know, like, why they didn't give you any frames.
And the boss has no visible health bar, so like I don't even know if I'm getting close to, to taking it out. I just gotta keep whacking away and hope for the best. Unlock iframes in the skill tree? Let's look. Critical damage, crit chance, quick dash, crit chance, crit chance, crit chance. Greed, crit chance, greed, crit chance, melee, quick dash, melee. So if you can, it's it's at a it's you can't have it this early. It's at a different tier. Yeah, I mean this is this is literally like a bullet hell Metroidvania, but all I have is a physical space dodge. I need to have some type of like potent. I need some potent ass iframe dodge. It's like right there. What what can I do besides just take the fucking hit to the chest? You know. Same with there. There was literally no way to avoid getting hit. Awesome. Just, oh my god, bro. Yeah, I'll be honest, this isn't good. Like, it's a cool boss. You know, Mr. Tentacle eyeball thing. Harley cat. I'm busy dealing with bullshit right now. It drops two health potions, but I can't even get to them, bro. And now they're gone.
What? So did I? I guess I I won. The boss just like left. He just giggled and he fucking left. I guess I won. Yeah, right? Like, wait, is it over? Did we win somehow? Mm. The fuck, dude? I don't know what happened. I guess we won. Red, Irish, white, yellow, or red? Why are they here? Huh. Fucking cat. And now we're back to just, uh, doing... I'm also, we, we managed to beat a boss, and still, we, there's been no change to combat. The only thing we've gained is the ability to heal by beating stuff now. Now as enemies die, we are able to heal. That's it. Combat is still just one button. Yeah, I, d I don't know, chat. I think, do we, should we just drop it here? Like... We watched when he got the dash ability and it is a parry. No, it's not. Oh. Oh, look at that, it took damage. Let me go find something that actually attacks. Oh, look at the, oh, look at, oh, it took double damage. Oh, man. Dash is not a parry. We have beaten the first boss, and so far it is entirely not worth it. Jared, it's not a fucking parry. It is not a parry. I'm sorry, you are wrong. It is not a parry. There are people in chat who have beat the game that literally just said you don't get a parry until about five hours in. The dash isn't a parry. I didn't miss mechanics. You were incorrect. God, bro, I'm telling you for a fact that you are wrong. Watch. Oh, look at that. Right before contact. Still took damage. Oh, still took damage there. Oh, let me guess. It's just, it's my timing, right? I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, right before getting hit. I, I wasn't before getting hit enough. Is that it? Is that what happened there? Oh, got hit that time. Oh, look at that. Got hit that time too. Oh, damn. Let's try going early. Oh, still got hit. Oh, it's almost like there's not a fucking parry to the dash and you don't have iframes.
Let's test it some more. Nope, that didn't work. Oh, that one didn't work either. That one didn't work. Can I go through? Can I go over his head? Oh, look at that. I got hit on the head that time. Wait, guys, I found the iframes. You get iframes after you've already been hit temporarily. It said about using L directional to fucking pick the way you dash, dipshit. Dashing left or dashing right, not using it to fucking parry. Because it's not a fucking parry. Holy shit, I don't think there's anything more infuriating than somebody backseating when they're outright wrong. Like, my guy. Look. That's what they're talking about. This is what they're talking about. I can go left, or I can go right. I can pick the direction I want to dash by pressing L, not parry. Ugh, anyway, yeah, there's, I don't, I, I don't know. This, this isn't very good. This is, I don't think this is very good. Uh, we're, we're an hour and 17 minutes in. The combat hasn't fucking changed at all. We still just have uh, basic attack. Shh. Well, yeah, if you get hit, if you get hit, you can get hit and then dash or get hit and jump to recover faster. But that's not that's not helping us. And the other thing, I don't even know where the fuck to go. This thing suggests we we go. Up there, I guess. Like, we did all of this. There was like a, a marker or something telling me to go to that top corner. Like, we didn't get anything. Even if we were to keep playing, go to the room after boss, maybe there's a door. There wasn't. After, after the boss, uh... The door just, it sent us out. It sent us away. You go to the marker, you get a new attack. It's a PC rise stream a day earlier or during launch. It's during launch day. So we went to the boss. This way. Oh, cool. Quest complete. Oh, never mind. Water's deadly. Now we gotta cross the graveyard. Let's check here. We've got the expansion. No, I can't go that route. I can only check the middle route. That's weird how it's jumping to the top of the tree. Uh, immunity. Increase immunity time after being hit. So more... I get longer iframes after I get my ass beat. What an amazing skill. Increase bloodshed, healing wave. Blood, instant cure. Oh my god. Bro, how is it gonna... How is the only iframe thing we have is... When you get hit, your iframes are longer. Like, what the fuck, dude? I personally just didn't like Ori. Ori was fucking great. I, I thought Ori was fantastic.
Like, this just seems like a worse Castlevania. I really want some iframes. with a team to make a video game? No. The amount, my hourly rate is higher than what they pay in the game industry, so. No. Game developers are notoriously overworked and underpaid. I have no interest in that. I love playing video games, but yeah. No thanks. Working long hours for shit pay is not my idea of a good time. Uh, yeah, I think we're done. It, this just isn't. I've given it an hour and a half almost. It's just not good. Uh, the, the combat is incredibly one dimensional. The fa I mean, I'm sure it expands later on in the stream, but the fact that we're an hour and a half in and still the only thing we can do is swing our sword in four directions. Um, that's, that's, it, it's not good. There's not, there's not enough there to keep me engaged. Um, weird, weird design issues like at the start, for example, that chest that spit out half the fucking gold off the ledge so that I couldn't even get it. That just seemed very, that like, just, just a really fucking stupid design. Uh, my character just rocking back and forth like he's ready to be committed to an insane asylum. See, now he's just standing. That's, that's good. This is, a, this is a perfect idol animation. Look, he's just chilling. His cape is going in the wind. That's good. But if I move a little bit, he starts doing this little weird fucking two-step. Like, why? Why? Why is he doing this weird fucking two-step? Um... No iframes at all. And not just no iframes, but no iframes, no parry, no block. You can't... <clears throat> you can't have... a hellish boss style like this... if we're not able to counter it in any way. Only... our only form of defense being... literally dodge out of the way. Do not physically be within the realm of an attack. That's... That's not good. That's kind of a cool animation. He summons up a little... He summoned up a light post to lean against. That's cool. Like, it sucks, because, like, it seems like there's actually, like, a lot of character to this game. Like, seeing seeing a couple of these these idle animations go off. Uh, but there, there's just no depth here. It's like... I mean, and they, you know, they're talking about this being a giant game and... You know, RPG systems and leveling up and different gems and all that. But there's like, there's no depth. It's like, it's like a mile wide lake that's only a fucking foot deep. So, I can't confirm I was five hours into the game and didn't have iframes at all. Oh god. The Hollow Knight has parry. Hollow Knight also has iframes. 
Anyway, we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, tomorrow, we're doing Halo. Wednesday, we're doing Monster Hunter Rise. Monster Hunter Rise, I can't fucking wait. I already got a little ways into it. I'm up to, like, Village uh, 3 Star. So, right when the stream starts, we could just start doing hub quests with other players if people want to jump in and, and start hubbing up together. Otherwise, I'll do Village quests until people are around. But yeah, we're going to wrap this one up. What do you mean by iframes? Iframes are invulnerability frames. So the idea is when I hit dash, either at the very start of that animation or the uh, for the duration of it, I can go through enemies. For example, let's say this, or you know what, let me just go over here to show you an enemy. If I'm, tr if an enemy is trying to attack and I am trying to avoid that enemy, I should be able to, See how I take damage? If he is- if he is going to hit... See how dashing- I'm not dashing through the arrow, I dash into the arrow and I get hit in the fucking face. That's- that's not good. I should have invulnerability while I'm in my evade animation. But anyway, wrapping up. Halo tomorrow, Monster Hunter on uh... On uh, Wednesday, Thursday, I got a doctor's appointment, so probably no Monster Hunter Thursday. Uh, Friday, probably gonna do more prop night. So anyway, y'all have a good night. I'll catch you guys tomorrow, and we'll uh, we'll take it off from there. So.